nails he's uh, a little bit dramatic but actually probably not far off the uh, Romans used about five to seven inch nails to execute people they were had a sharp end and tapered so they could be hammered into the cross we are spared the details of crucifixion in the Gospels the Gospels just right and they crucified him mainly because their readers of that time knew all about crucifixion they knew what it was about it was not invented by the Romans but the Romans really maximized it for torture and for suffering and a deterrent uh, they would reserve it for the insurrectionists for the rebels and they would crucify people in public so that it was a deterrent to others to uh, rise up against Imperial Rome it was a humiliating way of death prisoners were stripped naked and hung upon a cross any dignity that they had was already gone and then of course it was horrible a terrible way to suffer and die and it could last for days uh, nails were used to insert into the wrists not the palms as we traditionally imagine but in the wrists so that it could hold the hands in position if they have been inserted into the palms it's likely to rip the flesh and the hands would have fallen down and the person would have fallen off the cross but in the wrists it's a more secure position but as you do that as you drive through the wrist you hit the medium nerve and that's excruciating in fact that is the word that was invented for this form of execution excruciating it literally means the pain was out of the cross Jesus would have been nailed to the cross his hands held up and essentially crucifixion was death by asphyxiation because with your hands up there your muscles and your diaphragm was in tension and it was as though you were inhaling all the time and you had to push yourself up in order to <coughs> exhale and you had to keep doing that and often people would die of exhaustion from doing that and then die of asphyxiation uh, if the Romans were into a little bit of torture they could allow you to do that almost for days on end sometimes if they got impatient they would break your legs so that you couldn't push up and then you would die quicker there's been excess deaths during this coronavirus many terrible deaths happen every day people suffer extreme pain over all the world the common cry is why if there's a God of love why it's the same cry Jesus suffered and uttered from the cross my God my God why have you forsaken me it's the only prayer Jesus says when he addresses God not with the intimate title of Abba father we hardly ever get an answer to the wise on this earth but we have a saviour who suffered and died our suffering and our death today we reflect on why this day of such horrible violence can be called a good Friday let us pray Lord Jesus on the cross out of the worst of suffering and death grant us trust that you can bring good Amen